Hello everyone, it's Sophia. Today I'm going to be talking to you about nature connectedness. So as you are well aware of, I'm sure, populations of nature rich environments compared to urban environments have doubled since the 1950s. And so that means that nowadays 10% of one's day is spent outside. And this is proving to only worsen our mental health because our ability to connect with our natural world is very closely related to how we um, experience well-being and happiness. And this is because we all need time to recuperate from our very busy capitalistic lives. And in most of our days and the activities that we do are very highly stimulating, even when most of the time most people get home from work, the first thing they do is go on their phone, watch some TV. And in reality, those things you might think would relax you, but they actually are doing the opposite. And they're just as highly stimulating as working an eight hour shift at a restaurant. So the, what we really need is time to recover from our mental fatigue throughout the day. And the best thing for that is nature. And the reason why is because natural environments are proven to be restorative. And a restorative environment is a environment that is low, sti low stimulating. And the reason why a low stimulating environment is good for your mental health is because it allows you to relax your mind and escape your usual worrisome thoughts, which in turn helps, recover, helps you recover from mental fatigue, your stress levels will reduce, and in the end, you will actually have more, more of an ability to focus and an increase of motivation. And something that I've definitely noticed firsthand is that when I'm out in nature and I'm taking a break from my normal life, I am able to really reflect on my values, what really matters to me. And in the end, I... I have more clarity on, on my goals and my priorities and what I want to do with my life. And in turn, I end up with more motivation now that I have this, this newfound clarity. And I've experienced this before, but natural environments are the, the best thing for, um, for these aspects. And so, as you know, we're all on this search for happiness and something I've learned while doing this um, research is that superficial happiness does not last. And I feel like the type of happiness most people are looking for is not real happiness, it's superficial happiness, it's temporary happiness. And what I've learned is that real happiness is long lasting and it comes from knowing that you are living your life and you are being your best self you're living your life to your fullest potential and while you are aligned with your true self's um, values and so something else i learned while doing all this research was that a person is happiest when their actions and decisions are based on intrinsic motivation which means I'm doing something because I want to, not because someone told me, not because this is the normal way of life, not because, oh, I know if I do this, it's going to benefit so-and-so and their friends. So it's much easier to work towards goals that have personal, personal meaning for you. And so you will ultimately be more, will be happier if you are working towards goals that actually align with what you truly want out of your life and not what somebody else wants for you. And so that's why I say create a game worth playing for. You don't want to be, obviously it's going to be, you're not going to be happy. You're going to be drained if your entire life is just based on trying to make other people happy instead of yourself. And so to end this speech, if you're feeling drained of energy, you're lacking motivation, you don't know what you're doing with your life, take a walk out in nature or enjoy another low stimulating activity like painting, gardening, meditating. These are all activities that will help you escape your day-to-day -day life, which will also help you forget those worrisome things for a moment. And while you are able to escape reality, you will be able to reflect on 
what you really want out of your life and will in turn give you more motivation and clarity and happiness and all the good things we've been wanting. So my advice to you guys is to get more out in nature. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you soon. This is my works side of page. Um, yeah, all of these references are good. So check them out if you like. Bye.